Hi and welcome to High School Physics Explained and today I want to give you an introduction to the concept of mechanics. Now mechanics is a classical physics type of course, but what is it precisely? If you looked up the definition of let's say physics in the dictionary, then you're going to get a definition something like, well, it's the study of matter and energy and the interaction between the two. But what is matter? Well, Generally speaking, when we think of matter, we think of the macroscopic objects around you. And so we can analyze how that behaves under various conditions. Now we also have the a concept of light and so forth and sound and that's energy. And we look at that aspect, but life is actually quite more complicated. Physics is a lot more complicated because we can go down to the quantum level and we can see that how matter and energy behave becomes a lot fuzzier. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at mechanics from purely a classical perspective where we look at the analysis of the motion of particles in the macroscopic scale. In other words, the objects that you see every single day. And it's a sort of classical physics because it's been around for thousands of years for all intents and purposes. But what are the concepts that are involved? Well, we can look at a number of concepts. We can say, well, I'm interested in how an object moves. Specifically, we can say, well, it, it has a certain displacement. In other words, it's moved from A to B and it has a distance between the two points. We can also look at, well, how fast did it do that? So now all of a sudden we have the concept of time. And when we combine those two, that is displacement over time, we get the concept of velocity. Then we say, well, okay, it's moving, but it's not moving at a constant rate, it's changing. And so now we have the concept of acceleration. And so now we have these four key variables where we study motion. There is a fifth one, which I'll touch on here, and that's the idea of the object's mass. And in general, in kinematics, we don't often use mass because that's more related to the analysis of why an object moves, which I'll touch on in a second. So these are your variables that we are interested in. We're not interested in why they do these things. We're just interested in, well, they're doing these things. And can we draw some sort of relationship between these things? And we can do that by graphical means, for example. But then we have, for example, the concept of force and the concept of momentum. And when objects have a certain displacement and in a gravitational field, for example, they have changes in energy. Then we may say there's also the concept of work. And these are just a couple of terms that I could use. And if you look carefully, in this case, we're interested in the analysis of motion for purely the analysis sake. And in this case, we're saying, well, why does this motion take place? What are the underlying causes? And so what we now have really is two sub parts of the concept of mechanics. You see, this section here is often referred to as kinematics. Whereas this one is referred to as dynamics. So kinematics is looking at the motion of particles purely from uh, an experimental perspective, whereas dynamics looks at the underlying causes for them. Now, all of these particular variables have symbols and units associated with them. So with displacement, the most common symbol is usually the S and the unit is going to be the unit of uh, meters. For time, of course, we use T as our symbol and the unit that we use is the second. For velocity, it's a combination of those two. So in other words, the symbol of course is V, but now it becomes meters per second as a unit. And acceleration is A and meters per second squared. Mass of course is kilograms. Then over here, we have a whole bunch of other units associated and symbols related to them. So force of course is the symbol is F and we use the Newton. Momentum becomes P and its symbol becomes the kilogram meters per second. Now you can see now we've got the concept of mass here in our dynamic section. Our energy has a symbol E and its unit is the joule and work is related to energy and actually has a symbol W, but it's also the joule. The two are very much the same. 
But that's giving you an introduction to the concept of mechanics, kinematics and dynamics. Stay watching and we'll explore kinematics a little bit closer.